Hey guys, it's Ashley and I'm here with the first from my Twilight um, inspired tutorial series. So the one today is inspired by the Cullens and this is the look here. So um, if you don't know anything about Twilight, I'll tell you the inspiration comes from their eyes. Um, when they're full and fed, they have like an amber colored eye and when they're hungry, they have a dark colored eye. So that's where the amber and the dark comes in. And of course, I had a little bit of sparkle because I mean, what what is a colon anything without sparkle, right? I mean, come on now. All right, and uh, just real quick, on my lips, they all have really stained lips in the movie, so I just joined my Stila Pomegranate Crush lip stain and my CoverGirl Outlast lip stain in, they don't have names, 415 is what it's called. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this started. So to start out, I'm going to, I've already primed my eye, and I'm going to take Max Shroom, which looks like this, and a small brush, and I'm going to just apply Shroom really heavy in my inner corner there and up and it's going to be my highlight color and I'm just going to apply that and it's going to open up my eyes when you put it there in the inner corner all right and next I'm going to take NYX's golden eyeshadow which looks like this so it's a amber golden color. Um, a really good dupe for it is Max Amber Lights. I'm going to take the same small little brush and I'm going to pat that color all over the lid and blend it with that color I put on the inner corner with the shroom. And just pat it all over. And I'm not sweeping the color because I don't want to lose um, the really heavy amber quality to it, so. Okay, so see that? It's a very pretty color, I like it a lot. And then I'm just going to blend this area right here. All right, so there we have the amber color. Okay, now I'm going to take a small crease brush like this and I'm going to take NYX's dark brown and it's just a matte dark brown shadow and I'm going to dip it in there and I'm going to create my my shape. My shape's going to go up and this is inspired by Alice's makeup. She's the only one that really has some like real eyeshadow sort of situation going on. Most of them don't have any makeup on their eyes. So it's inspired by her, you know, upward um, eyeshadow. So we're just going to basically, I'm basically just drawing it out Like so, I've basically just drawn, drawn it out, and now I'm just going to fill in just the outer V with the brown eyeshadow. Some people might not have to really draw it out because they already have like super slant, slanted upward eyes. I don't have that, so I have to give the illusion that I do. And then I'm just going to blend that out. Just make sure it's all one fluid look. Okay, so you see how I've got that upward slant there. And you can make this as dark or as light as you want. It's totally up to you. You could kick this up for nighttime and it could be a nice nighttime look. So there we have that. All right. I promise it's more blended than it looks on camera. I don't know why camera and light make things look a lot worse than they actually are. All right. So there we go. Okay. And now we're going to take a black gel or whatever kind of eyeliner you want. I'm using the Buxom Lash Liner. And this is in Leatherette. So it's just the black. And I'm taking a eyeliner brush and I'm going to line my top lash line. Not too heavy, just a, you know, just a basic line. Make sure I'm still in the frame. Hello. 
and just go all the way in and when you wing it out make sure you follow the the wing you created with the eyeshadow you don't want a separate wing for the eyeliner and what I like about this eyeliner is it's very very smooth and it also has properties that helps your eyelashes grow and thicken or so they say I don't okay so just a black line and <clears throat> If you feel like, you know, there's areas where the amber got kind of covered up, you can just go in and touch those areas up, you know, just do a little touch up work. Okay, and then comes the fun part and the sparkle. I have this um, liquid eyeliner from the body shop. As you can see, it has sort of that luster quality to it, and it's gold. See that? And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line really super close to the lash line over the black, following the black all the way out, and then I'm going to line the bottom lash line, not the water line. I mean, I guess you can put this on your water line if you want. I think it would burn. I don't know. So we're just lining the lash line like so. And this kind of has a shimmery quality to it, so it's going to give you a nice little shimmer to the eye. And then just take whatever brush you want. Just make sure it's semi-clean and semi-small. And just kind of smudge the bottom one out so it's not like a straight line. And then kind of just pat the top one. And just blend it all out. So there you see you have kind of a shimmer to the bottom and top lash line, which I think is pretty. And then just curl your lashes. Boring, I know. You wanna sit there and watch me curl my lashes. And then I'm gonna take my MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash Mascara. As you know, it's my favorite. And just apply your mascara. Sorry, blocking you guys. Not that you don't know how to put on mascara, right? All right. All right, and there you have it. That is my look inspired by the Cullen. So we've got the amber color of their eyes when they're full and the dark color of their eyes when they're hungry and the little bit of shimmer. Since they're the Cullens, you have to have shimmer. Um, I think it's a really pretty look. Like I said, I think you can enjoy it even if you aren't a Twilight fan. Um, and yeah, so if you like it or if you try it or whatever, just leave a comment um, below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.